In this video, you're gonna learn my favorite five drills if you're an 8U catcher. If you don't know who I am, my name's Coach Bougie, and I transitioned from an infielder to a catcher my junior year of college. And now I've coached thousands of catchers online, and these videos have been seen by millions of people. And by the way, if you're 8U and you're trying to get better at catching, it all starts with the stance. Go to catchingmadesimple.com slash stance for a free seven-day stance challenge. So drill number one is just gonna be getting into a good stance. So there's four stances that you need if you're an 8U catcher. The first one is our sign stance, right? We want to go hang loose distance apart. Again, if you want more of this, go to catchmadesimple.com slash stance. The second one is a primary. We want our feet flat. We want our shoulders over our knees, flat target. The third one is a secondary, which we're just going to lift our butt up. And the fourth one is going to be a single knee. This is an excellent stance. A lot of people don't necessarily like it because it can be hard to get up and catch the high pitch or it can be hard to block, but you can learn all those things. Okay. So it all starts with the stance. Good stance makes everything easier a bad stance makes everything harder get that stance dialed in okay the second drill is just gonna be a barehanded catch so you can stand about five feet away just go ahead and underhand the ball and we just want them to track the ball all the way in one of the biggest problems that we see that these young catchers have is they just won't actually look at the ball and so they catch the ball in a different spot you'll see as they're catching it they're like looking over here they're also eight so like a dog barks and they're like over here right so we just want them to catch the ball now if you have a ball that you can like draw a red dot on each side or a blue dot on each side that's a great one too where then when they are catching it they catch it and they have to tell you what color the dot was so that you're tracking whether they're watching the ball or not so that's the second drill really really good because again we need them to watch the ball we can get into receiving mechanics for them and eight-year-olds can receive really really well but if they're not watching the ball all the way it's gonna be difficult okay my third favorite drill is getting into a good position like this. We're gonna teach them the triple threat, which is where we can receive, we can block, and we can throw if we're on our feet from this position. And this is where every single play initiates from. Now, sometimes at eight years old, this can be a little bit too advanced for them, and we may just want them to start here. But if they're good, this is actually a much better spot to be because then we can receive our gloves already on the ground to block, and then if we throw, we just come and pop up. So as we get to this triple threat position, Position, make sure our elbows forward the pocket is facing the pitcher and then we're gonna have someone toss the ball to us in the air and we'll catch it and stick that thing we'll do that again in the air and then as we go to the ground we'll toss it in the dirt and then we'll turn and go ahead and block that thing just so that we can train the movements of what does it look like to catch it in the air versus turn and block. Again, the biggest problem most catchers have is they have bad movements. This drill helps create the foundation for the movement of how we receive, especially that pitch at the bottom of the zone, versus how we block. The fourth drill is a drill that eight U catchers get almost every single pitch. We're gonna get a few pitches down the middle and then we're gonna throw this pitch up here and this pitch up here and this pitch over here. Biggest problem is that the pitchers can't throw it where they want to. And so we need to be able to catch these pitches, but we need to practice these pitches that we're gonna get in the game that are up here across our body, down here across our body and up high. So for this drill, just have someone throw you the ball right down the middle. We'll get one or two of these and then throw one way up here. And we need to work on being able to come out of our stance if we need to in order to catch this ball. And when we work on this pitch down here, the biggest mistake that we'll make is we'll have our hips go the opposite way. So if our hips go this way, which is really common. The reason why it's common is because our body is trying to get our glove over that way, which means we want to get our shoulder over that way. But we need to bring our hips with us rather than going away because you can see how that makes it harder and it makes it look worse. So throw some pitches down the middle, work on coming up out of the stance on these high pitches and work on coming with our hips on this low pitch where our hips come with rather than going away. And then my fifth and favorite drill for an 8U catcher is to just have them right here with their hips high and their hands high. And we're gonna work on coming back down and blocking. Now, most catchers struggle because they get to this position right here. Their hips are high and their chin is up and their chest is almost like a circle moving forward. We want the opposite of all three of those things. We want our hips back, we want our shoulders rounded so that we have a cave right here and we want our chin down. And so the best way to teach this is to one, teach 
just the movement and really reinforce that glove getting all the way down, the hips getting down, the chin down, and our belly button back. And then we add in a ball. So then have someone toss a ball and boom, there we go. And what you're gonna see 99% of the time, the first time you do this, they'll do it right just with the movement. As soon as you add in the ball, you're gonna see that. I promise you, I've done this hundreds of times. I know exactly what's gonna happen. And so then what you have to do, just bring it back and say, no, no, no. make sure that we tuck our chin, do it without the ball, and then throw it nice and soft until they get it with the ball, then throw it a little bit harder, all the way up, all the way up. That, my friends, is what I call the catching man simple method. If you wanna watch that, that'll be the next video tagged in here. But that is what I would recommend if you are an 8U catcher, or you're coaching an 8U team, or you're a parent of an 8U catcher. Those are the top five drills that I would recommend. So I'm Coach Bougie, I'll catch you later.